Nat, you sell this type of hybrid dog. Have you come up with a name for it? Not really. It's sort of known as a malt cavy. That's it. We don't have a special name like we do with the Spanador or the Spoodle or the Labradoodle. Right. Um, How do you find the customer satisfaction? Very, very good. About 99.9% .9 of people are happy. To someone who's never fondled one or whatever, what do they like? I think loyalty really shines through. All of the people that have come back and spoken to me have said that they're very loyal, very loving, very good with children. Um, would suit somebody old or a suit a young family as well because they are a lap dog but they will still go for a walk if you want them to. He's actually doing agility as well. Oh, okay, so he's reasonably bright. Yes, yep, very bright. Lay down, lay down, roll over, roll over, good boy. Speaking as a vet, can you go over what you feel are the differences between this hybrid dog and, and the two parents? Well, the uh, Maltese are very active uh, little dogs, uh, very boisterous and sometimes can be a tiny bit snappy. The Cavaliers are a very calm dog, uh, very low aggression levels, uh, very very personable little dogs and I think the, the combination tends to carry both of those beneficial traits through together so that we, we tend to find a breed that is both very good with children but still got a little bit of activity there so that they're not they make a very good uh, family dog. Obviously you should never leave dogs alone with young children but yeah. I presume these would be amongst the safer dogs. If you know if you're going to go for a smaller breed, I prefer them to go into a home with children where maybe they're four and over. Ah. Roughly, what sort of price range? About four hundred dollars. And that, they come then with all their vaccinations. Yeah, and first vaccination and free health cover and, and that kind of thing, and backup from us, the staff at the shop and stuff. What does that mean? Uh, well, if they've got any you know, questions, they can ring us up. We trade seven days. Um, and the two weeks free vet cover means when they purchase a puppy from us, yeah. that comes with free health cover for two weeks. So if anything goes wrong, bring it back and the vet will have Yep, it. and then it won't cost you any money either. Well, you've got a big tribe here, Diane. <laughs> yes, I do. There's three kids, is that right? I should have actually got four. There's another one <laughs> She, how old's the dog? She's 11 months. 11 months. How yes. have you found her with all the littlies and everything? Oh, she's just one of the kids as well. They just play together and... Right. Now what about the care, you know, grooming and all those other things? What do you do? We need to run a um, brush through at least once a week. And um, I also um, trim her all around the muzzle. Oh, yeah. Because she gets and dirty. And the ears? And yeah, the ears. Now are you, you're not a hairdresser or something, are you? No, no, just been experimenting. So, so any, any mug can do it effectively? <laughs> yeah, well, I start on the kids and then I run the dog. Does mum do your hair? <laughs> Well, I suppose the other fun thing is it introduces a little bit of variability in there. So when you're selecting a puppy, uh, you can pick from a fair range? Well, that's right. I mean, as we can see from the group of, of dogs here, there's, there's a quite a large uh, variety of sizes and colours and, and even coat lengths. And so you can find something that's really going to suit your specific needs. What's your view of crossing uh, two breeds together like this? Well, I think there's... Uh, there, there is certainly benefits in terms of uh, reducing uh, some of the inherent problems that you might find in each of the purebreds. You won't totally eliminate, but it certainly will reduce uh, the tendency for uh, problems with each of the breeds. Sandy, I suppose there'll be some people watching who have purebred dogs and they'd be thinking, why on earth would you get a mongrel? I walked into a pet shop, I, I wanted a puppy and I saw her and I fell in love with her. To me, it doesn't make any difference whether she's a crossbreed or a, or a purebred. She's gentle. Uh, I've never heard her growl. She's never snapped. She uh, loves her cuddles. And obviously, she's got you very well trained. Very well trained. And, and my husband as well. Uh... Yes, yes, yes. He's, um, he's right under her little paw. <laughs> no problem at all.